Welcome back to the Van Bill guys. I'm Taku and uh, I have decided that I'm going to make some framing out of 80-20 aluminum extrusion. And initially I was going to do everything out of wood. Uh, like I did the cabinet out of wood already. And I was going to do everything out of wood but after talking to a few people and uh, watching some videos, more videos on this stuff right here, 80-20, I decided to go for it. So I'm going for it and I'm, I've never used this stuff, but it's lightweight and it's really strong. So I think it's going to be good for a lot of the applications uh, in the van. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically create a frame, the whole back area here for the bed and for the, for the couch uh, and things like that. And maybe even the uh, cabinet over here, I'm going to have a big one. So. I'm going to build everything out of 80-20 from now on. I'm thinking this, all this 80-20 is going to be all connected together. So it should be one giant piece. And I'm going to have it like this. And I'm going to have a couple going all the way across to this one. And this one. And then I'll have it connecting up here as well. Probably like right around here for the bench. So I have a bag of these corner brackets, these two holes, just a corner bracket like that. With this little, this is a T-nut, so it goes just like that. T-nut part goes in here, slides it in, the bracket goes on top, and then you just screw it down right here. Screw it down into that, and then I just put another piece of 80-20 here, and then just lock it in all in right angles um, so you, it's really easy to create like perfect right angles uh, with this stuff and that's why I like it too so you end up with one perfect plane uh, instead of with wood you know I, I usually kind of mess up here and there and uh, end up being a little a little wobbled a little uh, distorted you know and even when you buy wood from the store a lot of the times they're kind of wonky you know so this stuff is, I think it would be great. And so far, it's, it's working out perfectly. What I had to figure out was how to cut it. And initially I was using uh, my, my chop saw that was battery powered. And that one is actually not strong enough to cut through uh, this aluminum. So I ended up uh, getting another, a bigger uh, miter saw. And the blade that I'm using is actually uh, this blade that it's for cutting metal and it's like the same type of stuff you use for the angle grinder there's metal blades that you can cut metal with too and I was using that initially those are so freaking loud it's like man even though I'm wear, um, I have earplugs now but yeah those are so loud I recommend using those these blades these work out perfectly yeah, after we cut, there's like a little bit of a uh, metal, metal shaving that I still attach. So we just file it down, make it nice and smooth, and then we can attach it uh, onto here. Well, so far I feel like it's going pretty smooth. I like working with this stuff. It's pretty easy. I got pretty much this whole left side of me done here and got this panel done and I'm getting this done. This is going to be the bench seat right here. It's going to go from here and then I got to connect here and here as well. And I got to kind of box the water tank in uh, with this stuff as well. And we're going to have the bed up here. We're going to have it on a drawer slide. You have this heavy duty drawer slide. Supports, I think it's 500 to 600 pounds. It's going to go up here. And we'll show you that. We'll get into that later. Uh, but anyways, for now, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Well, check that out. It's coming together. But I'm actually out of the T-nuts that I need to attach these things together so I have to get, go get more of that and then we'll continue with this 
So this piece here is actually going to be my bed frame and I'm going to uh, screw the drawer slides onto here first and I marked mark the holes where I'm going to just uh, screw them in and this is a little jig right here that just helps me drill on the perfect spot so I just got to find the, find the mark and I'll tighten this up uh, I'm going to put four screws in this thing so four holes made the hole a little bit bigger and now this bolt fits right in there perfect these are the ultra heavy duty drawer slides these are 600 pound drawer slides and they also have this locking mechanism so when it's in it locks it locks in and when it's out also locks out and all you have to do press that little tab down and that goes in what I'm gonna do here is on this portion this part here boom attach that on there and the back I'm gonna attach to the frame that I've been working on I'm gonna line all these up like this these are the T nuts that I've been using for the 8020 I'm gonna use the same nuts just a little bit longer bolts all right here we go line it up and I should line up I should be able to screw this in There we go, it's going in. Nice. I'll just leave it there for now. Now do the next one. Check that out, got 8020 attached to my drawer slide now. Locks out and then click the tab down. Boom. Go all the way in. Also locks in. Perfect. Exactly just as I imagined. Alright. Cool. Next step. This was the side frame of the van on the water tank side. And the drawer slide's gonna go right up here. So I'm gonna drill some holes on here and let's get that attached. First thing I have to do is line this up. And I'm going to line it up with this end. I guess that's it. I'm just using these holes. One, two, three, and four. I think that'll be enough. Maybe I'll put an extra one right here. One more right here. lock washers on this side just to make sure that it doesn't come loose hopefully that'll help I also bought some thread locker uh, if I can't fit that on some parts because uh, this basically needs to be low profile enough for this to go under it but once I tighten it all the way down I think it should be able to slide back I'm just gonna do the front ones first then tighten down while I have this out here, I'm just going to unscrew a bunch of them and put thread lock on all these bolts because uh, with, with all that vibration that, that the van's going to have, it's going to get loose. Just check it out. Woo! Because we won't be able to access the back of this and put the 8020 on there. But on that side we can access the back so it's no problem. That's cool though. That's Our bed's going to come out to right here. So if you imagine a bed frame, one bed frame like this here, rectangular, and then another bed frame in the back here. So once we push, when we push it in, we'll lift it up and then push it all the way back and it'll just kind of rest on the back somewhere. It'll be like this to begin with, pull it out and you can make it flat and that'll turn into a bed and then push it back and that'll give us 
a nice big bed. Uh, it's about a full size bed, I believe it'll be. And it'll give us also a nice couch still, nice living space along with good space uh, for the for the garage. So that's a good, I think this is gonna be a perfect balance between good amount of space in the garage as well as a lot of space uh, for activities inside. We don't have to put our bed away every single time. Yeah, we don't have to put our bed away every single time, but yeah, we can still have this nice big couch when we push the bed back. It'll be perfect. And if, yeah, even if we don't want to make the bed, we just push the bed back and leave all the stuff on there. It's not really a problem. I've never seen anybody make it like this. I had some inspiration uh, from a guy called Mo, Mo Liebig from Germany. He has one that's like this style where it folds up and it comes back down, but he did it on tracks. He did it with wood, a little different than my setup, but that's kind of the, where the idea came from. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be badass. Can't wait to finish it. All right, let's continue. Let's check this out. I'm gonna just push it back. Sweet. It's gonna sit just like that. And we'll have one more bar right here. And when we pull it back. There it is. I think I said this earlier, but this platform right here is also going to be part of the bed too. Woo. These queen size ones are perfect. Perfect length. So that's basically the gist of it there. Uh, we're just going to... Yeah, I don't even have to cut these at all. I'll just have to cut this side. This side's much shorter. This is 30 inches, this is like 21. Okay, so open the doors and push this out. This bed literally hangs out so we can stargaze. Look at that. So one thing I didn't mention was I actually swapped this piece here that's attached directly to the drawer slides with the double thick ones. Uh, the double thick 8020 also going all the way across and the other side as well as the front uh, for a couple reasons just for more stability going all the way across as well as uh, because this is all in one single plane using these double thick ones also allows the back side to sit flush uh, the whole entire thing the whole entire bed is now flush You know what, now that I have the full platform, let me actually get the mattress and we'll just put the mattress on there. Maybe maybe test it out a little bit. Take a nap, you know, been working hard today. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Just short enough to fit like this. My head is right next to the wall and my toes touches slightly, but not really a big deal. I actually like the little bend uh, that this side is lower actually gives it gives your knees a little bit of bend it's a little more comfortable actually oh this is nice all right guys i'm gonna take a nap all right guys i think that's the majority of the bed conversion the bed build uh, i'll just have to reinforce certain spots a little more and i might put uh, i think i'm gonna put a wood face on it here maybe like a one by four or something just to cover that up and then have a little ledge so the mattress doesn't slide off and we'll have to cut the mattress to size and we'll pretty much be done with the bed after that but that's most of it I don't think there's another bed out there like this one uh, at least in my research I didn't see uh, yeah I didn't, I've never seen this exact uh, build with the drawer slides and then it going out and being able to fold the main part that I really love about it is like a very very good medium between having good trunk space as well as having a lot of space inside the van as well so um, I, I like it I like it a lot I'm loving it man I think this is gonna be amazing again I probably said this over and over but myself I'm a first-time 
van builder never done anything like this first time working with 8020 and I just went with the design I just came up with the design as I went as I was building I'm gonna put it one here put one here support here and I just came up with it as I went I never I didn't have any kind of drawing for it I just had it all in my head and this is exactly what I had in my head and it actually worked out which is uh, I'm pretty amazed by that let me know what you think of this bed conversion in the comments below uh, see you guys next time Peace.